What's up guys, it's Christian. Today I'm bringing you another episode of my shop house build. We basically got everything done other than a few little things. We're moved in now and I got a few things to show you so let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start upstairs in the master bathroom today. So here we're gonna go over the vanity. You can see I got like my toothbrush and stuff up here now. We've been living in here for about a week. Still got a few little things to do. Like you can see we need some baseboard here and a little trim up here but we were able to pass our final inspections and move in here, so we'll turn the lights on, show you the shower. You guys have already seen this, but you have not seen the faucets. So there we have a rain head. You got a nice handle there. The shower is super awesome. So I've tried showering in here a few times to see if water would get over this ledge and down here on the wall and stuff. And surprisingly, there's not very much water that get that comes over this side, but there is a lot of water that splashes along the wall right here and stuff. So we have people coming up. They're going to measure this out. We're going to do a piece of glass up right here. And then I think we're going to try to do some kind of like a half door right here of glass. Maybe something with a latch that you can grab here and turn it open. I'm not sure yet, but this is the biggest spot where water gets out. But... Super cool, still able to shower in it now. I just put a towel down there on the wall so I don't get any water damage. You can see we got the light fixture above the bathtub. And then we'll show you the faucet for the bathtub. Turn it on for you real quick. You can actually see the water run off of it. Pretty cool. Now here we have the freestanding bathtub. This turned out so awesome. It's right in front of the window looking out. It's kind of a cloudy overcast day. You can't really see all the mountains on the other side of the valley, but still a good view. Pretty soon all this will be green. All the snow is finally melted. Okay, we'll move on. I'll show you guys the faucets right here for the sinks. They're just like the bathtub. You can turn them on and watch the water flow out. So that is pretty cool. I think that's about it for the bathroom. We'll come out here into the master bedroom. We still got to put up this mirror in the bathroom. Haven't had time to do that. And also you can see we don't have the doors on the closet or the bathroom up here. And also for the bathroom downstairs and the bedroom downstairs. So I've got something out in the shop I'm going to show you guys. Of, uh, it's a blow up paint booth that we're going to try to paint the doors in. So we'll get, we'll get more into that when we get down there. So the bedroom, I don't think anything has really changed. Still got to do the railing on the deck. We were able to pass our inspection by locking the door going out to the deck and making it so that there was not access out there. So we did pass our final inspections, plumbing, electrical, and building. So you can see we got our beds in here. This is a king size bed for size reference. This bedroom's about 14 feet wide and 17 feet long. So eventually I want to do a custom bed frame and headboard and everything with the same timbers that we used outside on the deck. So more to come on that. The closets, we're still not done with them. So you can see I've just got like a temporary rack right here. You know, we're going to build shelves and everything and clothes hangers and all that. So more to come on that as well. Okay, let's run out into the shop. I'll show you what we got going on out here. So coming down, let me turn these lights off real quick. This is a sign that my aunt made for me. It's pretty awesome. We put an outlet up on the wall right there just for this sign. Turned out sweet. Okay, now as you guys know, this is just a storage room. It's the exact same. It's just got tools in there. Not gonna bore you with that. We have the railing done on the stairs now. So we're going to poly this wood just like we just like what we're going to do with the wood over the garage doors right here. And then we actually have a few timbers right here that we're going to put underneath the stairs. So we'll just tie some wood into the shop, make it look nice. Still have not had time to do the flooring on the stairs, but that's not too big of a deal. We've still got some siding and stuff to do, so we're focusing on that right now. Now this little area right here, you can see we got the faucet on for the wash basin. Now this actually pulls out and it's on a hose. So if you need to wash any parts off or anything in there, that'll be super helpful. Got a light in here now. 
All right, let's flip these shop lights back on. So as you can see, these doors are different than the doors we originally had on. These are 20-minute 20, 20 fire rated doors. Um, there, was, there was a problem with our final inspection. We, didn't, we thought that the doors that we ordered through a place would have been fire resistant, but they were not. So we had to go and pick these up last minute, not a big deal. Showing the mechanical room. We still got to paint the bifold doors that come across here. So this will be covered. Now you can see coming around. We have Mason's truck pulled in the shop right now. Got the dirt bike and the four wheeler. Okay, now this is the paint booth that I was talking about. Um, so this was actually given to me by a friend. And you, you got these little blower motors over here that blow it up obviously. So I think I'm actually gonna blow it up real quick just to show you guys what it looks like. And then we'll jump back into the video. Okay, so this is the paint booth, pretty much blown up. So we're gonna bring the doors in here, set them up and paint them. It'll be nice, we can turn the heat up in the shop so that it stays warm in here, but we're not gonna get overspray on anything. So it's always windy up here on the mountain and that's why we wouldn't just take the doors outside and paint them out there. We don't want any dust to get blown on them or anything like that. So we'll get this set up, paint those doors and we'll get those installed. So I don't think anything's really changed here in the kitchen. We found some bar stools we liked. We still need to pick up two more of those, but that'll be perfect. We got, I guess we got all the plastic taken off of the dishwasher and the fridge and microwave and stuff like that. Front room is also still the same. We're still looking for a couch for in here. Oh, you can, I guess we got some baseboard up in here. Still got to put the TV up in the corner there. We've been looking for a couch, but this is kind of a weird, I think we're about nine feet wide right here and 14 feet long. So it's kind of hard to find a couch, but we'll keep looking. So here we have the pantry. So waiting for the door to get painted for that and also for the bedroom. We'll jump in the downstairs bathroom. So you can see we got a black curtain. We got the black fixtures up. So this bathroom turned out awesome as well. It's black everything. Turned out super nice. Also the same faucet here. Show you guys Mason's bedroom. So he's also got a king size bed in here. So this is a good size bedroom. He's got his TV set up and his PlayStation. Now, long term, the PlayStation will be in the closet in here, plugged into this HDMI. But since we don't have the closet built, the shelves and stuff in here, he's just got it sitting right there for now. Got a little bit more dirt spread out in the front yard here. Takes a little while with this little tractor, but making progress so that's the downstairs bedroom downstairs bathroom it's a little bit rainy outside but we'll run out there real quick and i'll show you the outside so we still have some siding to do here a couple more battens but haven't had the chance to do that yet. Also, we still need to do some more tongue and groove over there, but you can see we have the soffit in now. I think there's about 30 lights that go around in the soffit cans. It's so bright. You can see it from so far away, it's crazy. We got outlets up in the eave also. So we got that going all the way around. And you can see we got the AC condenser set up. There's a trim piece that covers this right here that will be put on, but it's not on yet. You see the condenser there. I need to get a strap or two to strap that up, that whip up and make it look a little bit cleaner. And then obviously the whole, the whole house still needs to be painted. This is just a pre-primered engineered wood that we put on here. So it was good enough to pass our inspection and it will pass our appraisal. So. I mean, we still got to finish up all the siding and stuff before we get our appraisal, but 
We'll work on that this weekend. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit better. See the eave going all the way around. A couple more outlets. Now eventually we will do the same soffit underneath these drops, underneath the deck and the patio, but we just haven't had time for it. You can see we got outlets up in these. We got a couple cans up in those. Two in here, three in there. They light up the garage doors. It looks awesome at night. We get a shot from a little bit farther back. Get the thumbnail real quick. So yeah, this has been a long process. It's it's pretty crazy actually being able to live in here now. A lot of hard work's been put into this place. Still a ton more to do, you know. We gotta get more gravel up here. We gotta do grass and flowers and everything, but you know, it's coming along slowly. More tongue and groove on this side needs to be done. But yeah, I mean, we got all the outlets in through here and all that. Everything's working and good to go. And yeah, I think that's basically gonna be it for this video. Um, I'm still gonna keep making update videos as long as I'm doing stuff up at the shop house. And this, this is gonna be a lifelong project for me, so. I mean, hit subscribe, stay tuned for the videos. There's always gonna be something going on around here, whether it's dirt bike jumps or flower beds, whatever it is. So stay tuned for future videos. You can see the little Starlink up there. Still have been having a really good experience with Starlink so far. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate all the nice comments. Um, like always, I'll have my email linked below in the description, so if you would like the floor plans for this place, shoot me an email, I'll send you over the PDFs and everything. Or if you have any questions about it, just let me know. And thanks for watching, guys.